Hey guys, my name is Alasia and welcome back to my channel, The Sea Life 6. If you're new here, please remember to hit that subscribe and notification button and also remember to like the video so you can get notified every time a new video comes out. Look in the video below to get a link to my Instagram and to our Facebook page and you won't miss any of the fun that goes on in our daily life. So, I'm so excited, let's get started with this video. Okay guys, now I basically have the same thing for you. For the math, I have oh, the workbook that my third son, Colton, who's going to start kindergarten, is going to be working in this fall. And then I have the binder set up for my little dude, Jace, who's finishing up math right now. So here's the way it looks like in a workbook, and here is it in a binder format. So let's get ready to see what's inside of these little fishy notebooks going on that they're called. All right, now let's dive through and flip through the Lessons for a Living Education Level K or Kindergarten. Again, I already have one in kindergarten, so here is it in a binder form and here is it in the workbook form. So let's go ahead and look at the workbook first. So a lot of people, if you're on the Facebook page for the Moms of Masterbooks or you're on the Masterbooks app, a lot of people go and say like the picture of the book when they're talking about the math for kids. So if you see fishy book, this is what they're talking about, is the kindergarten level math. So here we are opening it. This is gonna be our scope and sequence page. Then we have using this course, lesson scheduling um, features. You'll have the icons right here that they're um, telling you what they're for, a course description. Then we have course objectives. How can mathematics be taught as a living subject? And this is going to be a materials list that you need for each lesson. Calendar concepts, they're gonna start teaching about calendars and days of the weeks, how to grade assignments. And then here is a first semester daily schedule. And it's gonna have the due date, um, a check mark for it's completed or a grade. Then a second semester suggested schedule. And then you jump right into your first lesson. Now, if you're new to the master books and how they do their language arts and their math, what I love about this is it's, it's based on a story. So you're gonna read a story at the very beginning and it's gonna build throughout the book. So here's your first story. And then it's gonna get into exercise one, day one. So this is your first exercise for your day one. And again, I love how everything is simple. It's brightly colored. The pages are sturdy. It's just very nice. And then it's gonna keep going. So I'm gonna to skip to the back of the book where we're gonna have our resources at. Lesson 34, lesson 35. Okay. 180. Okay, so you're gonna get a number practice sheet and I have that to show you. I took mine out and I laminated it. It's also on the back gonna be a shape practice sheet. So again, tracing for your shapes. Here is the daily calendar. So I don't have the calendar to show you guys right now. It's with an, um, in my bag with my other things that I had for my special K, my flashcards, which I can't seem to find since we came back home. But this is what the calendar looks like. And again, I laminate, I cut this, I laminated the top portion, and then I laminated each one of these. And then I also went ahead and laminated numbers to do the days of the week. That's the only thing they didn't give you was numbers, and I went ahead and did that myself. And this is going to be just some exercise questions and then puzzle solutions if you need help with the puzzles. And that's pretty much it for the math. So I'll show you guys what it looks like in the binder format now. So here's the binder. Again, the practice sheet. And then I went and made my kids some flashcards myself just because I have a laminator. So I made my own number flashcards or you can just get number flashcards in the dollar store that are like a dollar. I had the flashcards already so I just went ahead and made them myself. And then similar to the other ones. Now I don't use the suggested daily schedule just because we did not start my kindergartner in um, like the one like 
the, the first semester basically. So I didn't use this for my kindergartner I currently have. He's gonna be ending this summer. And then I will be using it, however, for my next kindergarten that's getting ready to start in the fall. So this will get laminated for me, and I'll be using that. No, go out. Go out, please. And then this is just a flip through of him doing some of the activities. And then, like I said, we're kind of just going through this. Now, I do want to point out that when I got this particular book's binding taken off, the person was not paying attention, and I had to re-hole punch a couple of things. So just be careful when you're getting your binder bindings taken off. Tell them to watch. Um, they really don't need to go past this line provided. The, the I had a teenager that did this book, and he just did not pay attention and kind of cut off my line. So that sucked a little bit. So like you'll see these ones are loose in the back. But this is what it looks like in the binder format for the kindergarten math.